Sheboygan man to be sentenced for child sexual assault, water main break on Washington Avenue, Manitowoc man sentenced for death of two-year-old. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. It is primary election day in Wisconsin, and while the presidential primary won't be until April, today's election will decide the two candidates who will appear on the April ballot for a Wisconsin Supreme Court seat. Some local races will also appear on the ballot, and the Supreme Court candidates are Daniel Kelly, Jill Karofsky and Ed Fallone. Voters in Sheboygan's 6th Eldermanic District will choose between Joseph Vugrinovich and Mark Herman and Dean Decker. Sheboygan County Supervisor District 20 has three candidates, Mike Zimmerman, Patrick Johnson, and Brian Hoffman. And voters in the Random Lake School District will be able to vote for as many as two candidates from field comprised of Renee Rathke, Laura Meyer, Charles Mueller, Russell Sarasig, and Elizabeth Kocher. Voters who are not registered or who want to check their status can do so at myvote.wi.gov. Same day registration is also available in Wisconsin, but you'll need to bring proper documents for that to take place, such as a photo ID, which everyone needs, and the proof of residence. A Sheboygan man is due to be sentenced today for sexually assaulting a child in 2016. 20-year-old Fernando Escalara was charged after a teen who was 14 years old reported the incidents to police. Escalara, who was 18 at the time, was charged with felony sexual assault of a child, a charge that carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. He is also expected to be sentenced in a separate child sexual assault case, this one happening in 2018. Drivers on Sheboygan Southside are dealing with rerouting as around a water main break on Washington Avenue east of Sheboygan South High School. According to the Sheboygan Water Utility Break, was reported shortly after noon this past Friday, and during the course of repairs, a valve failed. Repairs to the valve are underway, and it is not known yet when that will be completed or if a full closure will be needed. Cars in ditches and power outages kept crews across Sheboygan County busy as heavy, wet snow fell Monday evening. The western part of Sheboygan County picked up around two inches of snow out this latest storm, while Fond du Lac reported around four inches as the storm wound down before midnight. Power was knocked out overnight in parts of Cascade, Oostburg, and the town of Lima but crews cannot say whether or not the outages were weather related. In the city of Sheboygan, there were roughly a half dozen snow related crashes. Countywide, there were no serious injuries. A former Badger football player has been arrested in connection with a homicide in Janesville. Marcus Randall L. 33 was taken into custody on Saturday by the Chicago Police Department, according to multiple reports. The former UW wide receiver is facing two counts of intentional homicide stemming from a shooting on Monday, February 10th, that killed two women. Police identified the victims as Soraya Winchester and Brittany McAdory. Randall Al turned himself into police over the weekend in Chicago. This isn't his first run-in with the law, as he was found guilty of battery charge for beating someone in a campus dorm in 2005. And additionally, he was suspended from the team for an incident that at a block party later in his career. After leaving the football team in 2007, he was also sentenced to jail time for an armed home invasion in Cook County, Illinois, and released early on parole. 
Randall L. is the younger brother of former Indiana quarterback and NFL player and coach Antoine Randall L. Janesville police announced the arrest on Saturday evening. And finally, a Manitowoc man is, has been sentenced to life in prison for the death of a two-year-old boy. David Hayden was charged after police were called to an apartment in Two Rivers in April, where Gilbert Grant II was not breathing. Investigators say the child had a number of injuries, including bruises on his forehead, cheeks, back, and arms, and the child later died. Hayden admitted to spanking the child while shaking the toddler while yelling at him to go to sleep. The child's mother and another woman are also facing charges, and the child's mother, Reina Santiago, admitted to smoking marijuana in their apartment, engaging in prostitution, and told investigators that the child had been abused for months. Their roommate, Bianca Bush, is accused with hitting the child with a shoe and a belt, and the roommate and the child's mother are due back in court on a child abuse charge in early March. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.